Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a discussion forum or a blog in Moodle. So it's all contained in Moodle. It's safe, it's secure, nobody else will see what your students are posting. So you can turn editing on by clicking the top right. You want to then find the section that you want to put it in. I'm just going to put it in my first section here. So I'm going to add an activity or a resource. What I'm looking to add is called a forum like a discussion forum. So I'm going to click forum. I'm going to click add. Now I'm going to have some different options when I do this. And first I want to give it a name and so I'm going to call this my practice forum. And post responses will be the description. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can do is put your question here. Something like Please reply to this forum with information regarding your summer plans. Okay. And so I can decide whether I want this forum to be a single simple discussion. Each person posts one discussion. Question and answers standard form displayed in a blog like format. So if I want it to be like a blog, I would select that. Standard form for general use. So I'm just going to select standard form for general use. Um, attachments and word count. I can decide on if I want a certain number of attachments or a certain amount of words. I can decide whether I want people to be able to subscribe to it or not. If you are subscribed to it, then that means you get an email every time there's a change. Okay, if I don't want anybody to get an email whenever there's a change in the form, I would select disabled or I would allow optional for the individual reader to choose. Post threshold for blocking, time period for blocking, you can set it to one, two, three, four, five, six days, one week, or not at all. Um, grade, I can decide if I want to grade it in Moodle or not and what category it would go in. I'd need a grade book set up for that, which I don't have. Ratings, do you want to allow ratings or not on the forums. Common module settings, do you want to show it? Do you want them to be in groups? You could place students into certain groups and use that so that they can only discuss with their group members. Um, or you could have leave it open like it is now and you could have cross-class discussion so students in different classes would be communicating to others. You can restrict access at certain times. Okay, so I'm going to save and return to course. And so now we'll see it in our list. And so now I have my practice forum. Notice the icon over here looks like a discussion. So I'm going to click on that and that opens up the forum. And so now as the user, um, I would click add a new discussion. And then I would say give it a title, summer plans, and we plan to go camping. Now, this is a great way for students this is a great way for students to um, be able to uh, work on their writing skills and have it be in the online world where it is safe and secure and then they can also um, read other people's writings and post replies to that. One of the struggles is getting kids to use it as a forum okay and as an academic setting rather than just as a um, non-academic setting okay and so that's one of the challenges so uh, when I'm all said and done and I want to post this I scroll down to the bottom and I click post to forum and I have 30 minutes to edit it so if I don't like that and I want to edit it I can go into summer plans and I can edit or I can delete. Now, when I want to reply to somebody else's, I would click reply. So I'm going to delete this one. And yes, I want to delete it. And so then now it is deleted. So that's how you'd create a forum. And then you can also search the forums for certain topics and things along those lines. And uh, that makes it a little bit easier to find information that you might be looking for. So that would be how you make a forum. Hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.